Welcome to Cosmo Tutorial. I'm Nan and today I'm going to show you how to get your own feed URL address. Now when you're ready to publish your content and you're ready to promote it and start telling the world about what you have to say then this is the place you want to go to. Now this is my favorite one. I've been dealing with FeedBurner for over a year and it is great. The, the service is as far as tracking and, um, and it's very dependable. So I never had any issues. So, okay. Oh, yes, definitely. If you haven't, um, go back to Corporate Cosmo and I have a podcast on what the heck is RSS feed just to give you guys a, an overview of what RSS feed and how it can benefit your business. And this is the part where you get your feed URL. So you ready? Okay. If you haven't already, go and register so you get your own account and then you come on back. All right. Now this is our homepage. This is www.feedburner.com and it's going to look like this. Of course, looks nice, right? Okay. You'll click on get started. And when you start with your um setting up to get your URL is going to look like this. You have no feed set up in FeedBurner. Go ahead. Burn yours now. Okay. So all you have to do is right here in this box is type in your blog or your feed address here. And what I'm going to do is put in the Cosmo Tutorial um, WordPress address. This is just for test purposes and for tutorial. I'm not going to... I already have one so... I'm just going to quickly show you this. And since I'm a podcaster, I want to click on check. Now, even though you're not podcasting at this time, go and set that up. So when you're ready to start with the audio and the video, you don't have to go through this step. Click on next. Okay. And this is where you put in your feed title. And I'm going to call it Cosmo Tutorial 2. I already have one so two and then this is your feed address and this is basically asking you you know where you want to call your address and this is the address where people are going to find your feed Cosmo tutorial oh my god I wasn't okay I couldn't spell I right, click on next And this is my feed address. Now you you want to take a note of that because you will be using it for a couple of other sites. Okay. And click on next. And this is the part where you get set up for iTunes. Now, in this section right here, I'm not going to put in information, but I'm going to briefly go through um, some of the, the, the categories. Now, right in here, if you want to create a podcast, um, enclosure from links to any rich media files, audio files, video images, I want to keep it at any rich media files because I do all three, audio, video, and images. And then right in here, it mentions to um, the categories. What categories would your podcast be in? And for example, I mean, I will be in business. And then, of course, it asks for the subcategories. And it could be business news, um, careers. I would be in management and marketing. Okay. Now, right in here is your podcast image location. Um, basically, you have to upload your image to um, a FTP site or a URL. So, all you have to do is just put in that URL address and you can preview your image. Now, right in here is your podcast subtitle. Um, just a quick subtitle for me would be the cosmopolitan style of bis of marketing for the corporate escapees. I mean, something like that. I don't know. But in, in here is your podcast summary. Just give a quick description of what their podcast is all about. And here is your keywords, which is really important. Um... For example, I do social media marketing. So my keywords will be, of course, social media marketing, social media, internet marketing, web marketing, podcasting, blogging, whatever keywords that my searches is going to find me. 
And be creative with those keywords also. And here, of course, put in your email address. And then in here, it's basically asking you, are you going to contain any explicit content? So if you will be using any foul language or content that might be a little inappropriate for a younger adult, then you might want to, you know, forewarn us. <laughs> Even some business podcasts have some um, explicit content. I don't know why, but. And here, of course, is your copyright message. And here is the author. You put your name. Click on Next. And right here, what's awesome about FeedBurner is that it tracks your traffic. And it gives you, you know, statistics and some reports. It tracks how many people are subscribed to your your RSS feed, um, what feed reader people are using, what other services and sites using your feed. And even, of course, you want to click on click through, how often people click back to your site. And then here is item and close your podcast um, download, which is podcast download. I want to know if my visitors or, you know, someone who's searching and they find my podcast and they like it and they want to download it. I want to know if people are downloading. And I know you want to know that too. Click on next. And voila. It's successfully updated. And right here in this section. Um, what's another great thing about FeedBurner is that um, it supports different platforms. And if you have a blogger account, um, TypePad, a self-hosted WordPress or WordPress.com, it'll give you, you know, instructions on how to do a couple of things um, as far as the codes and the widget or checklets. Okay, but you don't need to worry about that because I'm going to show you how to do it. And of course, MySpace. They have one for MySpace. Okay. So, I'm going to go back up here and I'm going to click on public size. Because this is where I'm going to get my URL address. Okay. Now, down here on the left-hand side under services is Chicklet Choosers. And there you go. You see that orange and white icon? <laughs> the standard feed icon. Um, right now, it defaults to that. But you have a choice of using custom um Icons from the other popular um, the news reader like Yahoo, G Google, and uh, tons of other ones. I don't want to put that on there. I'd rather stay with the standard one and have my visitors choose which one they are subscribed to. Okay. So you scroll all the way down. And you see these codes right here? These are the, H the um, HTML codes that we're going to copy and paste into our WordPress blog. Now don't freak out because I know you probably was like, what are these codes? Right now, don't worry about it. All I want you to do is copy it for right now. And in part two, I'm going to show you how to paste that into your WordPress blog in the widget. Okay, you ready? All right, so it's ready for part two. I'll see you later. Bye.